his ways. The son of righteousness for those who reverence his name. Immortal king, a destiny. He is the light of the world. Too. Thank you. Thank you, Thea. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to Royal Lane well, Chapel. Well, 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 watch well, night well, service. Um, as we start, um, having welcomed you, can I ask you all to put yourself on mute? Um, I want to see that we're going to hear everybody at the same time. That would be really, really helpful. But having put yourself on mute, Please do make good use of the chat to say hallelujah, amen, God is good, whatever you want to say to encourage each other, do please make use of the chat or put a thumbs up um, icon and it flies across the screen and everybody can see it. We've come tonight to just acknowledge God's goodness to us. Um, here we are um, under an hour. Um, before we cross over into 2021 and what a year it has been hey we all have a story to tell we all have a testimony we all have things to say thank you to God for but tonight we're going to hear from um, four particular people um, just short testimonies of how they've found God during this time but um, as we go, I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for us to um, acknowledge God together in this space. So as we come, I want to just read you something as we come into this space. I try to think of a clever new phrase, a slogan to inspire the next 365 days, a motto to live by this coming new year, but the catchy words fell flat to my ear. And then I heard his still small voice saying, consider this simple daily choice. With each new dawn and close of day, make new your resolve to trust and obey. Don't look back caught in regret or dwell on the sorrows of dreams unmet. Don't stare forward anchored by fear. No, live in this moment, for I am is here. I am with you. I'm your everything. I am. You are held secure by my strong hand. Give me this one thing, your all in all. Into my grace, let yourself fall. So at last, I'm ready. I see the way. It's to daily follow God and to trust and obey, to enter the new year armed with a plan, to give him my everything, all that I am. As we come, let me just read from Psalm 138. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. I will bow down towards your holy temple and I will praise your name for your love and your faithfulness. Father God, as we come into this space, this time together, wherever we find ourselves, whether on the shores of the United Kingdom, whether in Jamaica, whether in Florida, whether in America, wherever we are, 
Father, we want to press into you tonight. We want to say thank you to you for the 365 days that we have just traveled. We all have a story. We all have something to say of your protection and your love and your faithfulness and your goodness and your grace and your mercy. And may we express that, we pray, through our song, through our prayer, listening to your spirit. So Spirit of God, meet with us, we pray as we cross over from one year into the next. Accept our worship and our praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Fear, you're on mute. Everybody knows it's fine. So you can stand up in your house and sing as loud as yeah. you want. Here we go. Every praise is to our God. Every part of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Can you mute, please? Hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah. To our God, every praise, every praise is to our God. And then one more time, let's go again. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. To our God, every praise, every praise is to our God, God my Savior, God my Savior, God my healer, God my deliverer, yes he is, yes he is, God my Savior. With one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. We gotta sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, it's to our God. Every praise, 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 every praise. Is to our God. So much to give thanks to the Lord. I'm sure we can come up with more than a hundred things. So let's sing together that old favorite. Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. For he is good, he is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise. With a mighty hand. With a mighty hand. And an outstretched arm. His love endures forever. For the life that's been reborn. His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. Forever God is faithful. Forever God. 
I think it's over to you. Are you going to do the reading? Oh, yes. Yeah. Believe it. Okay. Lovely. So I start the reading. We have a reading by a worship team. And um, I'll start, and then Ruth Fraser will pick up and so forth. I think they, everybody knows who they are. So you unmute yourself as soon as it's your turn. Who can explain God? It takes all of Jesus Christ to explain him. Ruth Fraser? There are hundreds of functions and facets and names of Jesus, the light, the ancient of days, the I am, wonderful, counselor, the light of Israel, the branch, the rock, the Lord, the chief cornerstone, the way, the truth, the life, the prince of peace. He is the express image of God's person, but it takes every facet of him to reveal fully the glories of the Godhead. This is the Christ in whom we have been placed. This is the Christ we worship. This is the Christ who surrounds us, above us, beneath us, around us, before us, behind us, within us. This is the Christ who blesses us with his peace and his all and is in all. You and I are complete running over in him. As we remember your blessings. Can you hear me? Yep. I'll start again. As we remember your blessings on our lives over the past 12 months, we seek to be the temple that contains your glory Lord. The branches that contain your sap of life. Vessels to contain the new wine of your spirit. Lamps that your light will shine through. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're going to have some images of our last 12 months. Um, it doesn't express very international, it's kind of more UK based, so forgive us our international friends, but just images which may um, just draw you back to what we went through, what we're going through. Um, that's not one of the, ah, oh, here we go. So here we have Sir Tom being knighted by the Queen um, for his great um, work in raising millions of pounds for the NHS. This has become our everyday wear. Who would have thought it, hey, when we came into 2020? And who would have thought, look at that. We have Piccadilly Circus empty. Never is that place empty. In the middle of the night or middle of the day, it's always full, but because of the pandemic, it's empty. Here we have families who have come out and clapped for the key workers, the bus drivers, the lorry drivers, the um, store workers, the porters, the NHS, um, which we did. And here are some of the 25,000 cards that um, Sir Tom got um, for his 100th birthday, um, which he celebrated. And then also internationally, there were countries, Kenya, India, who had swarms of locusts that came and wrecked their crops and their livelihood which didn't hit much of the news because of what we're going through. And then the election campaign in America that started between um, Donald Trump and Biden. And then here's our flag for those who are very happy and excited that Brexit was on the table, it's definitely gonna happen. And they didn't care whether we had a deal or not. Um, and then also talking about exit from Brexit, 
Um, here we have Harry and Meghan, who decided to exit the royal family and go and live elsewhere. And then the name George Floyd came into our world because um, he had a police officer kneel on his neck for nearly nine minutes without any mercy in a public execution of a man on the streets. And then here the protests and the marches and here's a statue of um, Edward, his surname's gone out of my head, um, but he deserved to be at the bottom of the river. He was a slave owner and they didn't want him in the town. And then while all this was going on, there were still many oh. people, um, thank you. There were many people who just needed a home and a safe place and more numbers than ever this year tried to cross the river to come. And then Marcus, um, uh -huh. thank you, Rashford, Sophia's telling me his surname, um, took a stand to say there's children in this nation of UK who are hungry and the government listened to him and children were fed um, during this pandemic. And we became familiar with the daily briefing from the government who knew we had to wash our hands, hey? <laughs> um, and this one is quite special because this lady had a open, open surgery on her head um, while she was playing the violin. And it happened at my hospital, King's College Hospital. And she also played in the um, virtual choir on her violin. So that's quite a special picture. And then family, sadly, wanting to see their, their loved ones, had to see them through glass windows and stand outside. It's quite a heartbreaking picture to see her happen to wave to her mother outside of a window. And then the Black Lives Matter movement kind of arose off the back of George Floyd. And it wasn't just George Floyd, there was other names and situations where we just said, um, let's put things right. And then our churches, because of the pandemic, we had to close churches. It was the first time in hundreds of years. And this priest decided to put pictures up <laughs> of his congregation and still hold the service. And then we had empty shelves. There was a big buy on toilet roll. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but um, <laughs> the shelves were empty. Um, and the lady stands not impressed. And then in some countries, they put mark, social distancing became a thing. And in some countries, they helped them by putting circles on the grass. And this is also starting to become part of our, our routine testing to see whether we have COVID. Um, a long bud pushed up your nose and in your throat. And back to America, where the, the march for Black Lives Matter and right. on the other side, um, the cars are going. And then in the next picture, we'll see that the president pushed the protest away to stand outside of a church with a Bible, um, which seemed a bit ironic at the time. And then this picture just speaks so much of um, opposing sides. But then when someone got hurt, he decided to be the, the better man and pick him up and carry him out of a place of trouble. Um, yes, I can call you. Yes, I can. And then um, the symbol for the Black Lives Matter was also was just taking a knee to acknowledge one, that someone died to have someone kneeling on their neck. Um, and so football teams and people around the world have decided to take the knee. And then a momentous moment in history when um, Kamala Harris will be the first African-American to be vice president of the United States of America. And then Joe Biden will step down after two years. And um, the first shot of the vaccination, which many have prayed for and hoped for, um, this lady was the first person to take it globally. Um, here she is. And I believe she just had a second shot as well. I think that might be it, Phyllis. No, I think there's more. Keep going. Oh, right. Yes. Um, and then um, we had the police, not the police, the army out to help with testing. They can click for the next one. Who would have thought that, huh? Mm -hmm. And then these things appeared around the world. 
no one quite knew where they came from or what they are, but a few of them appeared around the world. If you've got any insider information, let us know. And then we have the lorries um, backed up, trying to get home for Christmas. And um, I'm sure some of them missed Christmas with their families on the shores of the UK. And then we have Rylane Chapel, um, where faithfully continued to be a witness to the community that God had placed us into. And then last one, over all of this, um, Jesus is still supreme. Jesus is still Lord. Jesus is still light of the world. And that's why we come to him on this watch night service because we don't know what the future holds, but we do know that God in the form of his son, Jesus will go with us. Over to Thea. We're gonna sing an old hymn that's a really encapsulates who our help is. church family who have asked just to give a 60 second testimony of how um yeah just how they've known God's hand on them um not I'm not I haven't said to them make it a positive thing but just knowing that God is present and real and you've walked with them through this year of 2020 so I'm going to ask Angela Angela Brown um if she could do her unmute herself and give her testimony, please. Thank you, Angela. Can you hear me all? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yep. all right, I should begin. Um, good evening, everyone, and it's wonderful to see everyone. Back in April, it was the Easter weekend. I went through a horrible experience in my home. This went on for a long time and I kept praying to God and I, I couldn't see any change. Then one day I, I prayed and I said, God, I can't go on anymore. I need to see change and I need to see something else happening. Then about three months ago, I saw God working things out for my good, changing my situation. God heard my prayer and he heard my cry. 
This reminds me of footprints in the sand. God loves me and he has been working out things silently. Also, he says our timing is not his timing. Though it all was also, he was also showing me not to dwell on my situation, but to focus on him and to draw close, closer to him. That's my testimony. Amen. Amen, Angela. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Thea, are we going to sing? Um, yes, How Great Thou Art. Okay. Everybody knows how great. We're going to sing two verses and then we're going to pause again. Um, Wonderful. I'm going to ask Jo if she could also just come and give us just a 60 minute, um, 60 minute, 60 second, please, Jo. 60 seconds. <laughs> Don't tempt me, Phyllis. I'd love to hold this floor for 60 minutes. <laughs> um, thank you, Phyllis. Thank you, Thea. It's brilliant to be asked to do this. I, I really appreciate it. It's, um, it's an honour. I think at the start of the pandemic, um, I had the hymn tune, Great is Thy Faithfulness, running through my head all the time. I kept playing it on my trumpet and looking up the words and trying to learn the words and playing it in different keys over and over. And I thought that even if I lost everything else, if I gained one thing and that was that I was closer to God, then it would be an amazing thing that I'd gained. So um, as pretty much everything crumbled, <laughs> as it has done for all of us, um, you know, I kept my health, but the the biggest gain has been my relationship with God and the way that that has strengthened through this time. Um, I wasn't brought up in a Christian household. I've, um, there's been times when, I mean, I've always felt God's presence, even when I was a little girl, but I would say there's times when I've pushed him away, times when I've shouted a bit and rebelled. And, um, I hope for 2021 that it would be a time when I could start to let him have control of my life and that um, the rebellious part of my personality would um, just slip away a little bit and I would just give over everything to him and trust in him that if he can carry me through this pandemic, even though I've done nothing to deserve it, I don't need any special treatments, but every prayer I've prayed, he's answered 
every time I've needed hope I've had hope every time I've needed community I've had all of you and um, I just trust that in 2021 that can only get stronger and um, yeah so if if you can find it in your hearts to send a little prayer on my behalf even though I don't deserve it it would be that I would um, give up my life to God and let him take control of it even more thank you thank, thank you Joe. I'm sure we can more than give up a little prayer for you <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your testimony appreciate it Thea last verse of how great thou art when Christ shall come. So I'll just play the chord and then we'll sing together. When Christ shall come, with shouts of acclamation, and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. if he will um, also share a testimony, 60 seconds of what God has been doing with him and how he's brought him through him and his family through 2020. Francis, thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Phyllis. Thank you for this great opportunity. I mean, I don't know where to start actually because the way how God has uh, lead in us as an individual and as a family is incredible. I wouldn't like two years ago, I had no idea about how we're going to um, stand like where we are and what we are doing. But one of the scriptures which uh, we completely hold on to is from the book of Romans chapter eight, uh, verse 35. Um, there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. No COVID, no virus, no, you know, whatever that you think, but there's nothing that can separate us. So I think this scripture has uh, really enlightened and uh, it, has, it has actually taught us, you know, as a person, as a family, and, you know, as the thing that we do in our little uh, ministry that we do and uh, in the street evangelism, when we do meet people outside on the street. But one thing what kept us going is the spirit of God, when we see the pass buyers or the ongoers, when they stop and then come to us and then say a word or, you know, uh, they just join in some way, form or shape. That really encouraged us. And uh, one thing what I also learned as well is during this, this period of time, initially when, when we had the first lockdown, um, the the early part of this year, I was thinking to myself that, um, oh, you know, when would this this COVID end? When would the world again come back to the normality? When would this happen? But then again, as I was pondering onto the word of God, God actually uh, taught me. You know, I learned something something new during this period, which is. Perhaps the word that we are looking for, which we are aiming that it would come to normal, perhaps it may never come back because it's, it's past. God wants us to actually move forward. You know, sometimes it's a bit hard for us to, to digest the fact that we wanted to go back again to the normality where, where, where we were before. But indirectly, God is actually showing each and every one of us Perhaps 
that world it may not come back but god is showing us to move forward and whatever the resources that we have in here if we look at this wonderful platform here zoom no one even know about zoom 2 years ago but now we are completely on it you know we are got used for this so these are the new tools these are the new new equipment these are the new resources that god is giving each and every one of us so perhaps god is teaching me that i can't think like before you know i can't think that when would this lockdown end when would the world come to to normality i have to stop thinking like that and then look forward and then what were the opportunities what were the challenges what were um, the the things or the surprises that god has placed ahead of us those are the things that that me as an individual me as a family or we as a church would be able to to go forward with despite whatever it is because this scripture in the romans 835 clearly says that there is nothing that can separate us from the love of god so i would like to thank each and every one and the and sister phyllis to give me this opportunity and i praise god and i thank god for my life and for the family in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. thank you thank you Francis, for sharing that on behalf of your family all the things in this world will be no more when the most high return for the pure be patient don't murmur while you wait praise and worship hold strong to your faith in a moment we can be taken but just remember you won't be forsaken if you are a child of for god el shaddai so tell your brethren and also your sister in the savior is calling but he's not demanding you must prepare to meet him before you die We have nothing to lose so much to gain worshiping God won't be in vain we are equipped for the battle so fight through the pain we have nothing to lose so much to gain worshiping God won't be in vain we are equipped for the battle so fight through the pain Holy. the guns will cool Holy. Christ will rule Holy. Heaven and earth will be made brand new. Holy. The kids won't cry. Holy. Lips won't lie. Holy. The evil injustice in men will be subdued. All the prophets, saints and believers, those who were martyred confessing the savior will be at peace with him in paradise. So be encouraged we all get our wages no favoritism can't rewrite the pages God is truth and can never lie We have nothing to lose so much to gain worshiping God won't be in vain We are equipped for the battle so fight through the pain We have nothing to lose so much to gain worshiping God won't be in vain We are equipped for the battle so fight through the pain Holy. the guns will cool Holy. Christ will rule Holy. heaven and earth will be made brand new Holy. the kids won't cry Holy. lips won't lie Holy. the evil injustice in men will be subdued yes it will power of the beast will cease god will take control and bring forth peace everlasting father we welcome thee come holy spirit let it be 
One may the power of the beast will cease. God will take control and bring forth peace. Everlasting Father, we welcome thee. Come, Holy Spirit, let it be. Holy. The guns will cool. Holy. Christ will rule. Holy. Heaven and earth will be made brand new. Holy. The kids won't cry. Holy. Lips won't lie. Holy. The evil injustice in men will be subdued. Amen, 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 amen. We have um, one more um, testimony, um, and that's from Charlene. So, Charlene, um, thank you for staying up. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, evening, everyone. Um, praise God. So this year, as we all know, it's been a very challenging and there's a lot of things I want to thank God for, really. Um, at the beginning of lockdown, I'm self-employed, so I knew instantly that my job would be impacted upon. Um, but I prayed. Um, many colleagues had lost, either had their hours cut or lost their jobs, but God has sustained me and I've, I've kept my hours, I've kept my job, my job has continued to grow. I've had more contracts than I've did even before COVID. So, I, you know, God has, his hand has just been continuously upon me and the children. Um, and particularly with Nehemiah and Isaiah in their school, every single year has had a, a COVID case. Um, or bubbles have had to close as a result of COVID cases, but Nehemiah's specific year and Isaiah's year has not had any cases of COVID or any reason for their bubbles to shut down. So, you know, again, I'm just thankful for God's hand being on uh, upon them. And at times, fear has crept in, but through this, it's shown me that is working uh, things out for our good. So I'm, I'm thankful for everything that he's done. Thank you so much, Charlene, um, for sharing that testimony of how God's provided for you um, during these months, which have been difficult. Thank you. It was meant to kill me, sin to destroy me, and I thought that it would, and I thought that it should, cause I messed up so many times, I went left when you said right, I'll understand if you wanna let me go, let me go, let me go, but you held on to me, and you wouldn't let me go, and you wouldn't let me go, go. And what the enemy meant for evil, God has worked it out for my good. What the enemy meant for evil, God has worked it out for my good. What the enemy meant for evil, God has worked it out for my good. Yeah. It was meant to kill me. Sent to destroy me, yep. and I thought that it was, yeah. and I thought that it should, cause I messed up so many times, I went left when you should cry, I'll understand if you wanna let me go. Oh, God has worked it out 
Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm aware that time is racing ahead of us. And because um, I want to pause in five minutes. <laughs> um, but before we do that, I, I just want us to reflect for a moment, just to have a, a few moments of reflection before we cross over into 2021. Um, we've heard testimonies from those amongst our church fellowship, how God has been with them and held them in difficult times and God made a way for them. Um, this week, as we were planning, um, Thea just felt, um, she just had this sense of God, God made a way, God made, she kept saying, God made a way, God made a way, something in her. She had a sermon in her that said, God made a way. And I kind of caught on to that and just wanted to use it tonight for us as we, just move forward into 2021. We think about the story of the birth of Jesus. Um, there's, there's Mary, who's this young girl who's excited about being getting married. And, um, she finds out she's pregnant. And there's Joseph, who's honorable and respectable. And he finds out that the girl he's gonna marry has got a baby. And, um, but God made a way for them. He made a way for them. And I'm coming back to that story, hopefully, at the end. Um, the next one, the, the, the walls of Jericho, where the insurmountable walls of a barrier that's keeping them from what God had in store for them. But God made a way for them. And God's word tells us that by faith, they marched around. And on the seventh day, God made a way and those walls came tumbling down and the next slide you've got the widow from Zarephath who um he was there and Elijah saw her and said give me a drink and something to eat and she's like I've got nothing uh, I'm picking up these sticks and then I'm going to die with my son because we have nothing to eat and she was ready for death because her resources had run out yet in the midst of her poverty God made a way for her in the in the you know the story of um the israelites coming out of egypt and they were really stuck between a rock and a hard place they're coming out of slavery and moses is leading them to their deliverance and in front of them is a river there, there's a sea they can't get through it if you know the story of the israelites if ever god made a way god made a way for them and the sea stood up and they walked through on dry land. The story of Elijah, where he's just had this moment where he had a battle between the false gods and the true God. 
And then the, the queen said, with every breath within me, I'm gonna kill you by this time tomorrow. And he, he sits down under a tree and he basically prays that God will take his life. That's a low point to be. Yet God made a way for him. You've got the woman who's been sick her, her whole life. Blood is coming out of her. No one could heal her, God's word says. No one could help her. Yet God made a way for her. And I will need to say, as we come towards 2021, I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through. Um, and who knows what's across this threshold. But I do know this. God will make a way for you. He did it before and he will do it again. And his ways are not our ways. When Mary and Joseph decided to, to come together because God instructed them to, when God made a way for them, his way was for them to be in a barn <laughs> with the baby in a manger and with the animals around them. It's not the princely kind of regal entry for a king into a world, but yet God made a way for them. And let me tell you, if you know anything of God, his ways are not our ways, but his ways are good and they're right and they're just. And I would say to each one of us, because I need to stop before we go too far, that um, God, whatever you face, if you have a Jericho wall, insurmountable, if you are stuck between a rock and a hard place, if your resources are low and you just feel I've got nothing else, if you just pray, as Elijah did, God take my life. God can make a way for you. He's done it before, he can do it again. And none of us knows what's across this threshold of 2021, but we do know God. We know that he's a creator God, a sustainer God, the God who speaks life, he says, let there be, and it was, and it is. And I pray that as we go into 2021, that God will speak life over you spiritual life physical life and health and well-being amen. amen i'm going to get us just to have a few moments of just quiet reflection before we cross over into 2021 we all have our hopes our dreams our disappointments our sorrows and i just want us to come with hands open before god and say god here i am I present myself to you on the last year of 2020. Some of us are broken. Some of us are excited. But wherever we find ourselves, Lord, we need you. Father, may our desire and our hope be that we will lean into you and press into you as we cross over we thank you for life spend we thank you for holding us and for keeping us for those who are grieving father continue to be their comforter as we step into this new year Father, as we prepare to come into this new year, we come with open arms, knowing that you have a bright hope and a future for us. We leave this year behind as we move forward. Amen. Amen. I'm going to hand over to Ian, who um, will begin to get us set up for crossover. Um, from 2020 into 2021. And let me just say, if there's, there's some things we can leave behind, we can't leave everything. Some things have to come with us. But some things, we need to just drop them here 
it's it may be well you know but some things we can drop um some things we can't they come with us but um now's a good time if we need to drop it drop it now we still have four minutes um Fia, is there a song we could just fill that little time up with Yes, we do. We have Waymaker. So we might sing about a bit of it. Very, very um, apt song, I think. I think everybody knows the first chorus. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Because you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Waymaker, waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. A new year is about to unfold with new opportunities to explore. Doors will open for new experiences, new adventures with the Lord. Remember not the former things, the things of this past year. The Lord will do new things in us, in you, in me, much more than we will ever be aware of. For he will make a way for us as we put our trust in him and he will guide our every step mm. by his presence we have within.
God, that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! 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 Happy New Lola, Miguel, happy new year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Robin. Happy Happy New Year. 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 Happ